engineering is moving towards uh, being able to be proficient in business and understanding how you're creating value um, as an engineer in, in the proje projects that you work on. So um, I think that we're moving in a really cool direction and emphasizing like entrepreneurial skills. I have kind of two main focuses. One is the professional development of engineering students um, and their preparation to enter a career after graduation. And then um, the learning that occurs in out of class um, activities, um, sometimes called co-curricular activities. So those can look like research experiences, internships, um, co-ops, design teams, that kind of thing. I was really intrigued by the clinic model that Rowan has um, that's run out of the Exceed department. Um, I think it's a really good opportunity to start to build some of those authentic learning experiences into the curriculum. They do hands-on projects and teams that focus around a design um, process. So the projects can range um, in disciplines, uh, they're very broad, but the core fundamental pieces that they come back to each semester are the design process and um, being able to build experiential hands-on skills. I would say Rowan, as far as the clinic model, is like very unique. I haven't seen it um, in another institution. Engineering education departments are like growing and building, so I think that Rowan's kind of on the cutting edge in getting into the space, so I'm really excited to be able to engage with that too. I really would like to understand what it is about a research experience that can help students develop skills like communication skills, um, being able to talk about technical terms, um, being able to work collaboratively, um, those kinds of skills that can really assist you um, once you're done in the four-year experience. Um, but really starting to get at like what is it about a specific research experience that can help students build those skills. Thank you.